we're going to move down to the data section and we're going to create a bar graph. So I'm using my navigator to just kind of move this down here a little bit to this section. And what we need for this section is we need a few things. One, I'm going to move over here so you can see in the end, we're going to add this for uh, these veggies for our bar graph. These are going to be our, our um, kind of end icon units for the bar graph. Uh, what else do we need? We need some data. All right, so I'm going to go back over here and we need to get some data. So um, I provided you with a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to go and get that spreadsheet. We will file open, not inside Illustrator, but inside Excel. And I'm going to grab that data sheet. And inside this spreadsheet, we have one for bar graph and one for pie chart. So the bar graph, we are going to take this information from green okra all the way to 57 the number 57 we'll select that and we're going to copy that so you can do edit copy or command c to copy and i'll just take that and minimize that for a minute come back over here to my data set and i'm going to look for the the uh, graph tool so in my tools if you don't see the graph tool you can just press j on your keyboard and when you press j on your keyboard that graph tool shows up it's the column graph tool so in order for us to get the right graph what we're going to do is we're going to go to object graph and then we're going to go to graph type and there we're going to select the bar graph and the bar graph we're just going to choose a few options to get us in the right direction here so i'm going to go to this little drop down menu and click on value axis and in the value axis, I'm going to change the length of the tick marks. And these are the lines that are going to go vertical uh, in my graph. I'm going to change that from short to full width. Then I'm going to go back up to this uh, drop down menu to category axis. And I'm going to take the, tip mark, the tick marks off in this section. So I'm going to say none here. Go back here to the options and see if there's anything else that I need here. I don't need the legend or a drop shadow or any of these other things. So from here, I'm just going to press OK. Now, we have the data in our clipboard. And the only thing we need to know is where do we want to create this graph? So I need to go back over to my layers. And I'm looking for data guides. And these are the guidelines that I have placed there for you to kind of let you know where you want to click and drag. So right in between this space here, this is where my graph is going to go. I'm going to click from the top left corner here and drag all the way down to the right corner. Let go. And then there's my numbers that show up at the bottom. And this is going to be the space that my icons will go. Now I have to paste some data here. And that's going to be right inside this little internal spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on that little number right there, that cell. Delete. And then I'm going to paste. So Command V to paste my data into this internal spreadsheet here. And over here to the right, I need to click Apply to commit to put this data on this graph. All right, there it is. This is awesome. So I don't need this data right now. So I'm going to close that spreadsheet. I'm going to use my group selection tool. And this is where my group selection tool and the eyedropper tool is going to come back in handy again like we did before. So I'm going to select only the text. Right now, I can hide the guide. So I'm going to go back over here to my layer, hide the guide so you don't get confused. And I select all of my text. And basically what I want to do is I want to get maybe the size of the text here or here, doesn't matter. We're going to grab the eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on that text size and it automatically applies the text information in terms of formatting but it's the wrong color so this is why I put these uh, color scheme boxes down here my eyedropper if I click on that I automatically turn my text into white text then I can use my group selection tool to kind of move this right into place to line right up there Get some strong alignment here. Now I want to change the color of the bars and I want to change the value of the lines. So use my navigator to, I'm going to select this and I'm going to zoom in. 
okay use my space bar to kind of move this up a little bit and what I want to do is I want to just drag a selection right across here just to select only those lines and in my properties panel I'm going to change the value of the stroke from black to this 30% gray so this 40% this is 30% gray so I click on the 30% gray and what you'll see is if I click here these black bars turned into this gray kind of grid in the background here now the next thing I want to do is format the text down bottom so I'm gonna click and drag along the text get my eyedrop tool and this time I want my text to be the same size as the text up here so I'm gonna click here and now that is formatted just like the text up there but the only difference is it's formatted to the right it's flush right and I want it to be in the center of these uh, vertical lines so I'm gonna go over here my paragraph and click in align center and then I aligned my numbers exactly where I want them to be so the next thing we have to do get our group selection tool and we're gonna select all these bars at the same time by clicking once and then holding shift click 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 and click all of my bars are selected get my eyedropper tool move my value down just a tad so you can see your swatches down here and I'm gonna use this as the color for my bars awesome alright now if I get my group selection tool go over to my layers palette I just want to take this whole graph and move it right down below and that's another way you can do it you just make sure you get everything you just take the whole layer and just move it right in between and then you let go and there is your bar graph